to for fire. Ya naru kuni bartan wa salama. O fire, be cool and safe for Ibrahim when Ibrahim was thrust into the fire. That is not a suspension of an intrinsic power in the fire. It's actually an articulation of the reality that the fire has no power in and of itself except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it his sunnah when you put your hand into the fire it burns the reality of it is it's Allah creating that action in that instant so we believe that he is that Allah is the khaliq in every instant he's muhi mumit there's like an on off cycle in, in the creation this is the aqidah of the the vast majority of our scholars that there is an on off cycle going on so that what you're seeing if you look at, at a film which is a good metaphor for this uh, film works based on frames it's a type of sleight of hand so it's really a kind of magic um, and it used to be called the magic lantern the first films were actually called the magic lantern the film if you look on, a, on, the, on the frame between the frames there's a little black area each frame has a black area between it. Well, as the frame's going through the projector and the projector is projected onto the screen, you don't see that black frame. It appears to you that it's a consistent uh, movement. So there's whatever you're watching, uh, it, it, you don't see any break in the chain of frames. That is how the Muslims explained the world. That the world is actually a recreation in every instant, but in the off cycle, it's so fast that we don't see it. It's so fast that we don't see it. So Allah is literally muhi wa mumit in every instant. Allah is creating and, and destroying the cosmos in every instant, recreating it. So everything is an act of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is an act of Allah. And what, what Imam al-Junaid termed fana is to experience the black between the frames to see the, 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 the basic insubstantiality of existence for one moment and to realize that Allah is al-hayy al-qayyum that Allah is the qayyum that he is the single sustaining force behind existence in every instant and if he removes his qayyumiyah all of existence is gone it's, it's over and that is why in every instant Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is immediate and present in his creation. So what a miracle is, is simply a suspension of that chain of events. It's like cutting a frame out and putting another frame in. And so all of these things, when you have an aqidah like that become possible, they're not even far-fetched. They're far-fetched for people that are living in a Newtonian world that believe in the world of cause and effect. That, that's when they become far-fetched. But when you understand how existence works, even theoretically, so not everybody experiences these things, but there are people that have experienced them, and these experiences are oddly enough consistent in most religious traditions. In most mystical religious traditions, they pretty much have come to the same conclusions about reality, which is very strange, which is why some of the uh, physicists became very interested in mystical tradition, like Buddhism and things like this, because they started seeing such similarities between the very things that they were beginning to understand about theoretical uh, models of how the world actually works as opposed to experiential uh, explanations based on our normative experience. And they started seeing these similarities. So uh, it's, it's very fascinating. So this subject is, is an interesting subject. Uh, and something that unfortunately uh, some modern Muslims have trouble with. I certainly don't. Um, but uh, anyway, that was a preface to this uh, section. Bayan